All right, tonight we're gonna to be working on a 99 Honda Civic LX, non VTEC version, the D16Y7. Uh, today we're gonna to work on the battery terminals. See how they look. So we're gonna make them fresh new. Here we go, we do have an amplifier on it. So the new part is gonna be this one, right here, the new clamp ones. Here we go, this is the part number, DL04765. I'm gonna show you the tools that I use for this. Well, specifically for this one. <laughs> All right, so again, these are the sizes we're gonna use for specifically this car. So 10, 13, and 12. So right here, gonna have it be a 12. And then from over here, it's gonna be a 13, just for this car. Um, the alarm is gonna go off if I plug this back on. And this one right here is gonna be a 10. So they're all different sizes. That's the reason why we're changing them. And maybe they're not getting good current. Let me see. I don't know if you can see it right here. We're holding it by a penny. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna start off with the negative one. So pretty much 13. We're just gonna get this thing out. That way we don't shock ourselves. Get that. So we're gonna get it up. There goes our little penny. Get that one into the side. And then from there, we want to take out the, these two bolts, the 12 millimeter ones, just so we get to expose the wire. And we're going to put our new clamps. Yeah, so this is how it looks on the back. It's literally screwing on through here. Yeah, so I forgot to mention, also get your pliers. Because we already take off, we already expose the wire. So what we want to do is just kind of twist them all together. Kind of do it with your hand, but these copper wires are really thick. So we're just gonna get a little twisted together. And from there, this is what came in a packet. So it came with two, um, let's say heat shrinks. So one for the red, for positive, one for the negative. Uh, before we do put this on, we wanna put this one on first. So of course just slip it right through. And then we got our, this one right here. So let's take a look. So that's where it's gonna go like that. That's where this tool comes in. So this one. So I know it's a little one, but it does the job, right? So what we're gonna do? I don't need the big ones. Make sure you get the big ones. Let me try the big ones. Yeah. So big difference. So now we need we need that extra torque to actually clamp the wire on there. So Rio's using this one right here. And just for so I won't lose this little piece, I'm gonna just take it out. If he wants to come out. There we go. So now we're gonna put the wire on there. Let's see if we get it on. There we go. Make sure you wanna do it the right way. So there we go, it's much better. So you have to keep on opening it, keep on closing it, just to get that good clamp. So, get it? Mm -hmm. So you wanna start with one side first. So you see how I'm tucking this one in first? So there we go. Then you're gonna open it back up. And then I can start with the other side now. So it's kind of like hugging it. This one. Yeah, that little one's ain't gonna do it. So let's try this side one more time. So we're gonna close it a little bit more. Try again to just sandwich it. There we go. So now we can try the other side. So here we go. There we go. See how it's closing it? That should be good, <laughs> but you're not going to see it because we are going to put this thing over it and we can either use a lighter or something else to like block it over. And that's how you do the negative side. So we can finally put it, but I'm not going to put it right now because it's still connected to the red one. All right. So there's two ways you could do it. I'm using these uh, wire cutters. Uh, you can either cut the wire through here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the wire through the middle right here. That way I don't have to waste too much wire, but. Let's give this a try. If it doesn't work out, then we could just cut the wire. One thing I don't want to cut myself to. So. I guess we're gonna have to cut it. <laughs> All right, so right here, we're just where we're gonna cut it at. So remember, I'm gonna cut it, and then you just wanna combine the two wires together. So, easiest way to just cut it, just doing this. Let's 
see, just to get a good grip. Right there, so we splice that one, not the other way. There you go. So now we get this plastic out. If you want, we could put new electric tape. That's what I'm gonna do, just for everything to look clean. So there we go. So we have that wire exposed. And from there, look how that looks. It's all broken off. So there we go. So we now we have the wire exposed. So we're gonna use the wire strippers just to have uh, more wire exposed. You can do it with a blade, just kind of skinning it around. But that's how it's gonna look. So we're gonna combine them together and then finally put this clamp. Just one like that. All right, so I did mention you're gonna use one tool, which was just this one, which didn't work, but we have the wire strippers, these fancy ones. Uh, so we're just gonna strip the wire up all the way to we have room to clamp it. So this is how this one's work. Hopefully it does grab it right. I mean, I tried using it, but yeah, it does work. There you go, little piece. So we're just trying to expose as much as we can. So. Get that out the way. Get this thing out the way. Yeah, it's gonna bite slowly. Uh, what you think? That's good. Mm. A little bit more. I'm gonna just say that's good. <laughs> and then we're gonna do the other one. Which, look. <laughs> that's what I said. <laughs> yeah, so. We have a lot of grip to get it. So right there, I'm gonna just say that's good right there. There we go. Well, there we go. So now we could just combine the two wires um, just by twisting them. I mean, I don't I guess you could do it like that. But that's where we got our wire right here. It's gonna be a little thicker so you are going to have to open the other clamp a little bit more I, wanna, I think it looks good like that but i am going to put electrical tape just around it like that that way they could be combined together even more all right now that we got the positive terminal it was breaking a sweat but it doesn't look pretty so, but we are going to put this over or we could put electrical tape and then poly this over so you're not going to see it so that's how it's going to look you're not giving a notice of wires i don't even think i need to put electrical tape but make it party okay now that we have the electrical tape there we go so we're going to put this over then he shrink it that way we can know this one's red but Always the one with the two wires is gonna be positive. The one grounded to the car gonna be your gonna be your negative. Alright, there's two ways you could shrink these heat shrinks. Either lighter or a heat gun. Uh, I'm gonna use a heat gun. I don't have a lighter with me. <laughs> Alright, so I end up finding a lighter. This is the heat gun I have. Um of course deal with the burr. <laughs> but lighter's more faster, more easier. Make sure you don't burn yourself though. Alright, so Let's see, you just want to go all over around. So start right here. You don't want to burn it either. So you just want to get the heat on there. So go around. You can see it kind of forming a bit. You don't want to stay in one spot. warm. So now you know this one's red. <laughs> Or pink. So whenever you're ready to put it, put that. And it's gonna look better than what it was. So now we're gonna do the black one. So kind of works a bit with the heat gun. Yes. <laughs> but it is better. Probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look, watch. Look, look at this. Use the lighter better. Look at that. <laughs> Move it up a little bit. So we're gonna hink, we're gonna shrink the top first. That was gonna fall. There we go. So we can have something to hold on. Get in there. Bring it. 
So we tried heat shrinking the black one a lot, but it's just still loose. So we're just gonna cut it and put electric tape better. <laughs> so that's where this comes in. We're gonna cut that thing out. Look, you see how loose it is? <laughs> so I don't wanna cut myself. And see, it's still loose. So we're gonna put electric tape in there. Put that over here. I don't know why electrical tape makes things look cleaner. So there. Better than it was. <laughs> All right, so, and that's pretty much it. Now we just gotta put the regular bolts that it comes with back. So let's do the red one, just so I can show you. So like that, and then the nut that it came with, which is this one. See how there's like a round piece on the other side? So it's instead of here, it's gonna be the other way. So that's why you can have like the extra room. These are gonna be 10 millimeters. So just to put the red one on, way better, more grip. So we're just gonna hit it just a little bit down with a red little cushion. Then we get our 10 millimeter. Finally, actually, we gotta put the wire back. Your, amp, your amplifier wire. Yeah. Sorry, sorry for taking so much time for it. So now we got it on with the wire. Nice. That ain't going nowhere. <laughs> the other one would just like kind of move side to side. But if we put this one on right now, the alarm's gonna go off. But we're not gonna do it right now. I'm just trying to show you how it looks. Um, we could change these, um, but I don't have extra. Or you could put some of the, what is it called? The dielect grease but for the battery but that's how you do it on a 99 civic um d16y8 or y7 um if you got any questions feel free to ask what did i do i mean what did i use pretty much and all the tools but that's how you do it all right